So welcome, this is uh, Edexcel's M1 at June 2015 um, paper. This is question six. Um, so we're given this uh, vector equation, so um, our position vector equation, uh, in the i direction, uh, 2t take 3, um, and in the j direction, we've got 4 take 5t. Now t, obviously, is sort of the parallel vector, bit of a hint to a later thing there. Um, so it would be the parallel vector is 2t in the i direction and uh, minus 5t in the j direction. Um, because t is sort of a constant thing, um, so, uh, sorry, yeah, the 3, the th minus 3 and the 4 is sort of the point to get to the line, and then the 2t in the minus 5, 2t in the i direction and the minus 5t in the j direction, that's sort of the constant uh, parallel uh, vector, okay. So, initially, obviously, initially just means when t equals 0. Okay, so it's obviously r equals minus 3i uh, plus 4j. Okay, so that's the initial vector, or you could write it as uh, minus 3, 4, doesn't really matter. Okay, uh, the next part is a little bit more complicated. It couldn't really be easier than that. Uh, the particle p passes through the position vector um, 3.4i uh, and 12j. Uh, sorry, mi minus 12j uh, meters at time t seconds. Find the value of um, t. So, what this is saying, this is the position vector, and this is our position vector equation. So, we've just got to work out what t is, what we have to put t equal to, to get these two points. So, basically, we put this equal to our position vector, which is uh, 2t take 3 in the i direction, and 4 plus 4 take 5t in the j direction. So, basically, it's just comparing compare like for like. So, this 3.4 must be equal to... 2t take 3, and this minus 12 must be equal to 4 take 5t. So we've got two simultaneous equations, so it's just a case of substituting or simplifying. So to, to uh, consolidate this, let's just uh, substantiate our two equations, so it's like for like. So the 3.4 in the i direction must be equal to the 2t, 2t take 3 in the i direction, because they say the same thing, so 3.4 equals... 2t take 3. Now there's no point putting 3.4i equal to 2t take 3i because we know that's just one equation. Uh, the second equation, we want to compare the j component, so the minus 12 must be equal to the 4 take 5t. So um, now it's just a case of we don't need to substitute because they're not squared, they're not quadratic, it's really simple. It's just you could, if, if that said x instead of t, you would just do what you do there. It's just a case of Simplifying, substituting, and you should get, if you did that with both of them, you should get a value for t of equal to 3.2. So you could either find t in the first equation or t in the second equation, and you should get exactly the same answer. Now what I've done in my exam um, is, in the first, I've done, I've worked out what t would be in both equations, just to make sure, A, I'm getting the right answer, and B, proving to the examiner that I know I've got the right answer. Being proven to yourself is pretty, probably more important. Um, okay, so this next part is a little bit more complicated. Um, it says, find the speed of P. So, what is this? Well, um, speed, remember, uh, is the magnitude of the velocity vector. And the velocity vector is something to do with the time. Now, the only parts that we have to do with the time in the position original equation is 2t and minus 5 t in the so 2 t in the i direction and minus 5 t in the j direction okay so our velocity vector is to do with time so speed uh, speed is to do with time okay so that's the best way of trying to explain this so therefore the only components that are to do with time or the velocity vector is the 2 t in the i direction but obviously we just write 2 i plus uh, sorry take 5 j because the 2i and the 5j are the only parts in the position vector equation that are to do with t, because we know time is given to your velocity. So that's your velocity vector. Okay. So you could say velocity vector is 2ti uh, take 5tj, but I've just wrote it as that. 
case, that's your velocity vector. Now we said the magnitude of the velocity vector is the speed. So we just do the magnitude, so it's the Pythagoras thing, so it's 2 squared plus 5 squared. Now you could say take 5 squared, take, take, uh, sorry, plus minus 5 squared, but you just end up adding 5 squared. So that's just the same as the square root of 4 plus 25, uh, which is uh, root 29, which you just can simplify to whatever you want. I leave it as root 25 meters per second. Okay, so that's how you answer question six. It's, th this bit's quite complicated. If you've got the first two parts, you should be happy with yourself um, because that's obviously two thirds of the question. Um, just this little bit is a little bit harder to comprehend. Um, I mean, I don't think I've given the best explanation there, but I will put up another video if I get a better, uh, if, I, if I think I can explain that a little bit better. Um, but please feel free to try and explain uh, your answer to part C and, um, and we'll try and discuss where each other's may be incorrect. Now that's the right answer, uh, please don't get me wrong on that, but um, I might have made the right links there. But personally, there's nothing else that I can see it being. Okay, uh, not the best revision video there, but the first two parts are bang on um, and the answer for all three is correct. Um, and the way you do this is correct, but I'm just not 100% on this 2TI, take 5TJ business. So if you're not 100% on that, don't worry. I've tried to explain, as I said, the best way, the way that I thought about it when I answered it. Um, but uh, please feel free, as I said, to comment what you think. As long as it's not to tell me to go jump off a bridge or a anything like that. Or, you know, in the final video, set myself on fire. Not a big fan of that, personally. Um, Anyway, so thanks for watching, and we shall see you in the next question.